Hey, what's up everyone, CTN Technology News here, and today I am taking a look at Android L, the new version of Android that Google showed off at their annual I.O. conference for 2014. So this actually has a ton of new improvements and features, so let me just go over quickly what's new. So to start with, the design has been radically overhauled. Google will debut a material design interface with vibrant colors and an increased number of animation and transition effects. Developers will be able to give icons real-time shadows and create a floating effects on screen. A ripple effect animation will also be visible when you dial numbers or swipe away menus. The Roboto font has been optimized for screen sizes ranging from watches through tablets and TVs, so it actually looks a whole lot better. Now, Google's also improved notifications. Full notifications appear on the lock screen, and users can double tap to launch apps or swipe them away. A heads up notification feature means that when you're inside an app and you get any incoming phone calls or notifications, they'll pop up at the top of the display instead of taking over the whole screen. You can then accept them or dismiss them with a swipe. Now, one of the most interesting features is the ability to unlock a device without having to enter a PIN code. Devices running Android L will be able to detect whether the person swiping the lock screen is the owner of the device. Hence, it's aimed to do this by recognizing if they are in a trusted environment by using location, seeking out syncs to Bluetooth devices, or by using voice. If the device cannot authenticate you, it will present a PIN lock. Now, Google also wants to make it easier for businesses to deploy Android, so it will actually allow personal and work data separation without the need to modify apps, and admins will also be able to deploy apps in bulk. Android L will support ARM, x86, and MIPS, as well as 64-bit instructions as standards. Now, battery life is also improving with Android L. Android has introduced a new project to Volta to optimize battery life, and this basically includes a tool called Battery Historian, which provides a detailed breakdown of what's actually using the battery at any given time. If you're having battery life problems, you can actually see where it is and whether there's any hardware or software which is actually draining your battery, and then you can actually change it and make it better. It's a lot like some third-party apps that are already available, but this will probably be even better because it's actually made by Google, a first party, and it'll probably have more access to a lot of the stuff in your device. Now, other features that Android L has include enhanced multitasking, Bluetooth 4.1, and Burst Mode APIs. Now, I keep on referring to this as Android L, and that's the, because Google hasn't actually unveiled the official name of their upcoming operating system. Obviously, it will begin with L, and I'm expecting something like Android Lollipop to go with Google's sort of food-themed Android upgrades, but let me know what you think L will stand for in the comments below. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye!